Hi there and welcome back to the OT Guide. My name's Dana and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. And today we're diving into the hot topic of vision therapy. Vision therapy is a controversial form of therapy often sparking debate about its efficacy among medical professionals. And this is no surprise. If you do some quick research on your own, the top Google hits are extremely confusing, which is why I wanted to get to the bottom of it myself. So if you're a parent wondering if vision therapy is right for your child, or perhaps you're a teacher or occupational therapist curious about its benefits, this video is for you. We'll explore what vision therapy is, the eye disorders it's typically prescribed for, and most importantly, whether it's truly evidence-based. So let's jump in and learn more about vision therapy. It's a personalized program of exercises and activities aimed at improving visual skills and abilities. It's often prescribed for various eye disorders like convergence insufficiency. This is where a person has difficulty converging or turning both of their eyes inward to focus on near objects. So tasks like reading would be challenging. Amblyopia, which is commonly known as lazy eye. Eye movement disorders and more. It's typically overseen by optometrists who are healthcare professionals trained in the management of visual disorders. Vision therapy sessions usually take place in an optometrist's office or vision therapy clinic. These environments are equipped with specialized tools designed to enhance visual skills. Now that we have an idea of what vision therapy is, what it looks like, let's take a look at what the research has to say about it. So here's our first systematic review. It is a bit dated, it's from 2005, but it was one of the only studies I could find that looks at a bunch of different eye problems, including virgins problems, ocular motility disorders, accommodative dysfunction. This article says that there is some evidence that supports the treatment of convergence insufficiency. There wasn't any clear scientific evidence supporting the use of eye exercises in the remainder of the areas reviewed. Our next systematic review is much more current. It was published in 2017 and also more relevant because it examined the efficacy of vision therapy specifically in school children. Instead of looking at a bunch of different eye disorders, this review really honed in on whether vision therapy works for convergence and sufficiency. And we have very good news. This review found that vision therapy is effective for children with convergence and sufficiency. This is awesome. My third systematic review, published in 2020, again looks at vision therapy in children, this time specifically in children with amblyopia or lazy eye. The results of this one are a bit inconclusive. It says that vision therapy might be a promising option for kids with lazy eye. However, there just isn't enough evidence at this time to be completely sure. The last article I'd like to show is not a systematic review, but it's a commentary on vision therapy for kids in general, published in an international peer-reviewed journal on children's health in 2022. Overall, as you can see, it advocates for the use of vision therapy and convergence insufficiency only, and it makes a really strong argument for this. Namely, we don't want our kids wasting time on a therapy that isn't helping them. Also, we don't want families to pay expensive out-of-pocket fees without clear evidence of benefit since vision therapy isn't likely covered by insurance. So what's the moral of the story? What's the takeaway here? After spending an afternoon diving headfirst deep into research, this is how I am personally interpreting this. If I have a student who struggles with convergence insufficiency, meaning they struggle to focus their eyes on objects close up, I'll consider vision therapy. If they have other vision issues, I probably won't. If you decide to try vision therapy, monitor your child's progress closely. If you don't see any improvements after a few months, it may be time to explore some other options. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and I look forward to seeing you all here next time. Thank you. Bye.